Red Cross urges gamers to obey laws of war while playing first-person shooters. Even wars have rules. Okay, so what the Red Cross is forgetting is that it's a video game. It doesn't matter if you commit war crimes or not. Like, it doesn't matter. Focus on actual war crimes that are taking place in the real world. Also, another thing that the Red Cross is forgetting is that War crimes could be an excellent storytelling element as well, because, for example, if you take World at War, World at War had a better story and campaign compared to Call of Duty World War II because the war crimes in that game were a lot more severe because it actually portrays what that conflict was like, you know? Even in fictional stories, like in MW2, like the original MW2 with the No Russian mission, that portrays terrorism. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but terrorism is an actual real thing that the world has to deal with.